Hey yo, welcome back. Hi. Uh, I believe you already watched the ten episodes of the Korea tutorials of mine, but Korea already um upgrades uh the new interfaces and the the new functionalities. So please let me introduce Korea once again. All right, Kriya is very good artificial intelligence tools that can help us to generate the uh, very good quality of the images. And it's not only one tool, it's combined of many different tools. So remember this website, kriya.ai. So when you're landing, you will see they are uh, about five different uh, portions of this tool. So first is a real-time generation. So in this tools, you can create images by text or uh, painting. And another is upscale and enhance. So this tools can help you to upgrade and upscale your old images to uh, brand new and high qualities of the image. This is wonderful, right? So uh never waste any of your images and besides these two big uh major tools we have uh, three small apps so ai patterns i will introduce later and the logo illusions which can hide your logo inside of the uh, illusions inside of another uh, illustration amazing and then we have this one, this is called the animated uh, diff. So this can help you to generate amazing videos, but right now it's on maintenance. Already been months, I think. So beside that, we can create a Kriya Studio, which means you can start to work on a, a, a project that can share with your friend. And you can even train your AI models I already introduced that tools in uh, previous videos. You can try to follow it. All right. So let's click here and uh, you can use your email to create an account or use your Google account. This is your choice. So here uh, you can create your account. When you uh, finish creating your account, you will land to another dashboard which is a uh, Korea dashboard. Okay, let's go to this one here. Yeah, so this is a default dashboard of Korea. You will see two objects and a background and also a, a chat box. And uh, uh, in the right hand and left hand, we have a different tools. And uh, in the upper side, we have uh, three buttons and uh, 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 a tango button. Yeah, so let's try to remove this uh, eclipse. Wow, so once I move it, the image on our right is changing. And we can change the AI strings. So we, when, the, uh, when, this, um, when we drag this... Um, selector to left, it will more like uh, our artboard. And when we dry, drag the AI strings selector to right, it will more uh, take more reference to our prompts. So here is a chat box that we can write our prompts. And uh, let me uh, change another prompt later. Yeah, basically, this is a combination of our artboard and the prompts. And you can uh, go back your former uh, status by click here. And uh, you can click the trash bin icon to clean all the artboard. All right, so I already cleaned this artboard. There's nothing left. Okay. So it will generate real-time image according to our artboard and the chat box. All right, let me uh, write down a little boy playing basketball. 
And now we need to draw a boy with a basketball. So this is uh, all the tools that we need. We have a selector. We have a, a background color uh, selector. So let me change the background to white and use a, uh, you can use a shape tool or you can use this uh, generator tool. So if, if you click the generator and uh, you can uh, use another generator inside of this artboard. And here is a very important tool that's a color selector. Let me change the color more like the skin. Yeah. So here is the alpha channel. So control C transparency. Okay. And uh, then we have the brush size tools. Okay. Let me have a quick uh, draw. This is a man. Yeah. <laughs> a little boy. And change the color so we can draw the jersey and the pants of this little boy. Yeah, let me draw a basketball for you. Okay, here we are. But check the right side and the left side is very, uh, very similar, right? So we need to change the alpha strengths so that AI can create images more like our prompts. Yeah. This is nice, right? Because I now it's uh, selected to the uh, portrait or by default. So it, th this image is more like the real human. And we can click here to overlay this image and our artboard. So this is a quite a new feature. You can change the alpha channel, uh, which is the transparency and uh, now, when we use the selector to ch uh, change the position of our basketball, what happened? Let me ch change it for you. It will be a little bit slow. Yeah, that's right. So it will, in real time, generate the images according to our artboard. And we can control our artboard in real time. Which is really crazy, right? So in the past, all the artificial intelligence tools uh, cannot do that. You cannot do it in mid-journey or stable diffusion. But in Krea, you can uh, uh, editing your image in real time. This is really a game changer. And uh, click here. That can change the uh, seed, which means if you're not satisfied with the image that's created by uh, artificial intelligence, you can ask artificial intelligence to change another um, image for you. So you can adjust the image and you can change the transparency. You can uh, click when hovering it appears. So now, it's just more like uh, animation, right? So I can editing this in real time. Uh, and I, I don't need to see my artboard. So click here, we have a quick uh, render or quick enhance to check uh, uh, the image. And now we can download it or send it to enhance. So which means I can finish our process of creating image now, or we can continue proceed better quality. So right now it's like 100 pixels of this uh, image, right? So we can looking for higher uh, qualities. Click here, send this image to Enhancer. So inside of the Enhance, page we have more uh more stuff to editing so first is the prompts we can change the prompts and we can ask uh ai to change it to different dimensions like um uh 2k 4k 8k yeah this represents the different quality of the images and we can change the style and also uh, 
AI strings, remember if the value become bigger and uh, the image might be a little different from our uh, uh, original image. And now we click the enhance. Then we usually take one or two minutes because this uh, uh, requires uh, calculating. All right, let's wait. This is a pretty long process, right? <laughs> yeah, I think the AI um, AI image generator, uh, the most uh, hard part is waiting. All right, while waiting, uh, let me introduce another functionalities. So below here, we can see uh, three or four images, right? So that's is uh, your history records. So if you didn't download your image, but you want to find it back, you can try to find it here. And besides this, there are three different buttons to change the view, um, view means. Okay, we are here. So uh, wow, this is really amazing, right? Check the quality of this image and check the fingers. The uh, This little boy have five fingers, which is correct, right? <laughs> so we can download it, then check the dimension. I think it's uh, like uh, 200 dimension. Yeah, and we can view side by side. Check the quality, that's amazing. So basically, we can use this in any poster or print it out or use it in the websites, mobile, anywhere you like. And the uh, pixels already been double. We have uh, like 200, uh, sorry, 2000 of the pixels for this image. Originally, we only have like 1000. Yeah, so basically we draw a very ugly image and uh, Korea help us to uh, create our intention to a very nice image. 